And Judah said to him, saying, The man firmly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you're going to send our brother with us, we may go down and buy you food. But if you are not going to send him, we will not go down. For the man said to us, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. Notice it's Judah who has to speak up and make this demand. It's important because Judah plays a pretty prominent role here in the second half of the, of the Joseph story. And Israel said, Why have you done this harm, done me this harm to tell the man you had another brother? And they said, the man firmly asked us about ourselves and our kindred, saying, Is your father still living? Do you have a brother? That's a really odd thing that he's just said there. The man asked us those things. That's not quite accurate. It's the beauty that I love of biblical literature. When you have a dialogue, and be, so uh, narration often recapitulates dialogue, or sometimes dialogue will recapitulate the narrative aspect as well. And they'll be identical, or you can see where there are some hiccups. But the same is true between dialogue and dialogue. You can go back and look at the dialogue. I think it's in chapter 42, verse 10. Joseph doesn't ask anything about this in any way, shape, or form. He just simply uh, accuses them of spying. All he keeps saying is, you're spies, that's what I told you. And they divulge all of that information. So it's really interesting here what, what Judah says with regards to his question. 